Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video we've got something awesome to show you, especially for the Windows Mobile users out there. So, for a while now, you've been able to load Android onto your Windows Mobile device using a Linux bootloader. So you'd put all the files on your storage card, launch Harrit.exe, and be put into Android within a few minutes. And the Android functionality worked pretty well on, on most, most devices and it's always getting better over at XD developers. Now we have a true dual boot solution and there's not many phones out there that I know of that can boot into two different operating systems. So when you restart your device, you're loaded up with Gen Y dual boot and from here we can enable auto boot or fast boot which will automatically jump into Windows Mobile or into Android or we can manually tap on either the Windows icon for Windows Mobile or the little Android guy for Android. So right now I'm just going to manually launch into Android and down here it says booting Android. And from here it goes into the, uh, the bootloader which will take a few minutes. Okay and here we have the what appears to be the Nexus One startup animation. And that was about two minutes, and we are in Android now. So it says HTC Touch Diamond 2. This wasn't intended for the Touch Pro 2, which is what I am using it on. And we're just going through the screens here. Running Android on the Touch Pro 2, which is very nice. And here we are in Android, working, uh, working pretty well, Android 2.0. So we'll post a link and in instructions on pocketnow.com on how to get Gen Y dual boot so that you can try dual booting between Android and Windows Mobile. It's a really um, an amazing development, and we're really happy to finally see it come uh, to Windows Mobile devices. That's it for now.